Hi everyone and welcome to part two of the Moira stamped and foiled nail designs. I'll be showing the one on the left and the right. The one on the right also has uh, an added kind of velvet texture to it using some acrylic powder which I'll show as well. Now these are a custom color as well. I did um, two parts of the Cherry Bomb and about one part of the LV May in black. Uh, these are both very nice gel paints and of course I will leave links to all the products that I used from the video uh, in the information box so check below for those. So once we get our custom blend We'll go ahead and apply two coats onto the nail and cure those. I am using my Crystal Nails Extreme Gel application brush for this. Very nice brush as well. And now we're ready for our matte top coat. One coat here, cure for 60 seconds for the best matte finish. And now we're ready to stamp. We'll use our damask drapery plate from Moira and that image right there. To stamp, I'm using Sally Hansen Salon Manicure Polish. Uh, this is in Commander and Chic. It's a beautiful tone on tone taupe color. It's going to give a subtle uh, look to fabric look to our nail here. And once again, we want to protect that stamp. So again, I will be adding another layer of the matte top coat to that and cured for 60 seconds. All right, now we're ready to use our foil gel in black from Moira. And once again, I have some on my tile there. For this one, it was simply um, outlining the nail and then coming through with some abstract kind of lines and circles um, around the center area. Again, there's no need to apply a thick layer of this uh, black foil gel. Fine lines foil almost perfectly especially using the Moira foil and if you use too much black you could run the risk of it not curing completely all the way through the layer uh, that happened to me once where I did not or it, after I cured and then I pressed the foil into it it had a little bit of excess uh, uncured gel kind of squish out and you don't want that that kind of ruined the design So once you have your design the way you like it, we're going to cure that. Again, um, this Moira gel likes about a 60 to 90 second cure in the lamp. And then I let it sit for about a minute outside the lamp before I foil. And so I just cut off a little bit of that magic foil. And lightly press into the foil sorry into the gel if you should get any excess foil in the areas that you don't want again all you need to do is take a little bit of uh, acetone and a brush to clean up those areas just be sure that you blot the uh, brush because you don't want that to flood any areas and flood into the other foil and that will result in the foil hazing and that just doesn't look good. So you can leave that like it is but for everyday use you might want to protect that. You can use a coat of uh, go over the foil with a coat of uh, no wipe top coat or you could put a coat of matte over it. 
Now for the second nail we'll be using Florality 2 and I'll be using the uh, leaf image right here. So again on this nail we have two coats cured of the base color and then one coat of the matte top coat. And I'll be stamping with Sally Hansen InstaDry Slick Slate. These are a wonderful line of, uh, the InstaDries are a wonderful line of uh, one coat uh, fast dry polishes. Now I'm just going to stamp the entire nail and I'm going to remove any areas that I don't want with some acetone and that e.l.f. concealer brush. Now we're going to take off, in this case I'm going to leave the center area with the leaf design. We're going to remove the top and bottom areas. So Got some acetone on my brush. I'm going to just kind of carve away the areas that I don't want. Now if you should mess up and remove too much or don't like what you've done, you can take off the rest of the stamp with a little bit of acetone and re-stamp it and start over again. I'll we'll zoom in and show you exactly what that looks like. Now, now we're ready to protect that with a, another layer of the matte top coat. And now we're ready to add our foil gel. We're just going to follow along those lines. Just outline it and do a few little scroll accents over the inside area. Yeah, now we're ready to apply our foil after curing. Once again, 60 to 90 second cure. Let's sit for about a minute and then apply your foil. Now you could leave it like it is, but I wanted that little extra texture look, so I'm going to paint on the top and the bottom portion. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that uh, extra base color that I have and my small detail brush and I'm just going to uh, just coat those two areas across the top and the bottom. Nice thin layer. I'm going to get it right outlined up right next to that foil but not over the foil. Once you get those areas completely covered, we're not going to cure this. I'm going to take some acry clear acrylic powder and we're just going to sprinkle that acrylic powder into our uncured gel. Now 
And I'll be using um, Crystal Nails Easy Powder. This is a wonderful fine milled clear powder. And you're simply going to sprinkle that into your brown gel. Once you get a good coat on there to where it's not shiny any longer, you're ready to go ahead and cure that. Don't worry about the excess powder. We'll remove that with a brush. So just lightly brush off any excess powder and lightly remove from the center area as well. Now again, to protect this, you can go over the foil with some no wipe top coat or you can use your matte top coat over everything to protect it. And there you have your finished nail design. Now if you choose to use the matte top coat, I'll show you what it looks like uh, over a stamped and uh, nail design and one that I just did over a plain matte finish. So the one on the left is, is foiled with the matte top coat. The other is stamped and foiled with the matte top coat over it. And as you can see, it still has a nice effect, just not quite as shiny as if you used a no wipe over it. And again, just some other designs that I did. That's a Dishika stamp on there uh, on the left that I traced over. The other three have Moira stamps on them with some hand-drawn accents and again, foiled over. So the possibilities really are endless with this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments for me, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I'll get to you as soon as I can. As always, I do appreciate everyone's support. And until next time, I will see you guys later.